If you've ever been in the ocean, hell, if you've ever even seen Jaws, you've thought about them. I'm talking about great white sharks. Now, most of us probably try to keep our distance from them, but not Andrew Maine. <laughs> Thanks to his creation here, this is Ghost Diver. Andrew, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is basically an underwater stealth suit designed to allow me to get up close with great white sharks and other big sharks. So you wore the suit in the water with great whites, not yeah. in a cage. No cage, no cage. Okay, so then I think, I guess my next question, I think everyone probably would want to know is, are you f***ing crazy? Uh, yeah, I, you know, it's one of these things where you start off with like, you know, it'd be cool, like what if I could, because my background was in magic, right? And designing illusions. And I thought, what'd be cooler than fooling a person? Would be fooling like a really smart animal? And I'm like, well, what's really a great hunter? And like great whites, like how, how would you fool a great white? Like, well, by not getting eaten, that'd be great. And then I thought like, okay, how would I do this? It's not like I'm gonna go down there and do, you know, card tricks for them. And that evolved into, I had some background working in camouflaging techniques and stuff. And think, well, can I apply that and figure out how to build a stealth technology that works with great whites? And then next thing you know, you find yourself 80 feet underwater surrounded by great whites going, how the hell did this happen? <laughs> oh, on your right, on your right. And I mean, this wasn't just a stunt. I mean, this was for a TV show, right? Yeah, so this is for Shark Week. I have a special coming out called Andrew Main Ghost Diver. So I went to the scrapper and I said, hey, I have some ideas for how to use illusion technology and deception that might work with great white sharks. And they're like, great, you know, will you test it out in the water with the great whites? And I'm like, sure. A smart, rational person would say no <laughs> to that, but it was an opportunity of a lifetime. It was but amazing. Smart, rational people typically aren't the ones who end up with specials on TV, so I think Exactly, of course, of course. It takes a special kind of idiot right here. <laughs> Let's talk about the suit then. Um, you said you incorporated some of your magic and, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the background of what you already know about sharks. So what's the technology behind here? How does it work? First off, we had to start off by understanding how great whites sense things. They're extremely visual. We know they have a incredible olfactory sense. We know that they can pick up electrical impulses. Extremely, extremely good at picking up sounds, among other things. So it started saying, okay, if I wanna limit my profile underwater, if I wanna make myself invisible to a great white, I've gotta address all of those things. And I played with a couple different technologies. One was a suit using LEDs all over my entire body with cameras that would actually mimic the background. And then once I realized that I needed something that was gonna be a little more stealthy, a little more agile, because sharks are very good at picking up sound, I realized that what I need to do is figure out the visual part, but don't get hung up on thinking that it's just a matter of making yourself invisible. So then I got into realizing that I needed to use materials instead of a neoprene, which makes a little bit of noise as water goes by, hard to believe what it does, using a very slick material so that water was would glide past me and then using sound dampening things. The purpose of this foam here is actually to keep this from banging into itself and making sounds. Because if you're underwater, sharks can hear clanking, they can hear scuba tanks, all these things. So I had to have a number of ways to sort of mitigate the sound. The visual component, what this came down to, this is a special material that reflects light in certain ways. So if I'm underwater, let's say 80 feet underwater, and I want to blend in with the background, I would use lighting on the suit to help me match the background. So kind of like a ninja costume, you know, ninja in the dark, this would be underwater. I had to go through, besides just talking to shark experts and learning how to interact with sharks, uh, work on like rebreather training. What that is, it's a system that takes your, as you breathe out and it takes the CO2 from your, you know, your air and it scrubs it. It basically uses, you know, lime to do this and takes the CO2 out and then basically allows you to breathe your oxygen back in. The real advantage of rebreather is they're quiet. Instead of a scuba tank where you have this regulator that sounds like you're filling your car tire every 10 seconds, you know, <laughs> rebreathers are extremely quiet. With the final testing complete, Andrew is ready to reveal his design. I'm calling the suit Ghost Diver. This isn't an Iron Man suit of armor. This isn't going to no, protect no. you if you if you get attacked by a shark, right? Yeah, no, I would be dead. So <laughs> the, the funny thing is, is you're wearing this and you kind of feel cool, like, ah, oh, I've got armor on. I, a shark would tear through this in a second. The strongest part of the suit is actually the shield, which that's a thick plastic. But if a great white wanted to chew through that, he could do that too. But that had to be lightweight and allow me to sort of you know, when they got very curious, when, and that was the purpose of that, was, uh, you know, touch the surface there. <laughs> Great whites have bumped up against there. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away, mm -hmm. but you obviously didn't die. What was it like being down there, going face to face with a great white shark, knowing you didn't have 
that protection. When I first started this, I'm like, I'll have a team of people, I'll have a bunch of expert shark divers and bodyguards and stuff. None of that happened. <laughs> we got down to the very bottom and, and understand the first the moment we got into the water in this thing, I open up, clear my mask, there's a great white that's like 10 feet away, just staring at me like, what are you doing, idiot? You know, <laughs> and that's it, but it was, it was cool. It was a really neat experience because he's, he's just looking at you and you know those sort of sharky kind of grins or the kind of like that, and he got that. It wasn't like, I'm, I'm gonna nom on you. We go a little bit further down and then I hear crunch, 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 and I look up and there's a great white chewing on the edge of the submersible. We've all had that feeling of getting in the water and oh crap, something just brushed up against my foot. Like, what is that? I, so we have this fascination slash fear with sharks. Where do you think that comes from? You think of a lot of our experiences and fear from sharks often come from when we're swimming, where our heads are above water and our bodies are in this very vulnerable space below and we can't see what's going on there. <laughs> You know, movies like Jaws, amazing movie, but you watch that and you know, you don't want to go stand in a puddle. You know? And so I think that reinforces this. You look at a shark's mouth, it's ferocious looking. And I understand you designed your own VR demo as well to, to better acclimate yourself to that experience. What I wanted to do was I built a simulator. So what it would allow me to do is go, go pretend I'm underwater. And then I had the sharks were programmed to behave like how is cold gray whites did. They're swimming around you and they're looking at you. And if you don't pay attention to them, they sneak up on you. And that's when you've got to turn around and you have a shield like I had and use the shield to block them. And that was scary. And I have a button where you add sharks, you know, and then I have a button to take away sharks. It was more scary doing that than actually being there with the Great Whites. Ghost Diver airs one. So Andrew Bain Ghost Diver airs August 2nd at 9 p.m. on Shark Week on Discovery. Fantastic. Make sure to check that out. Andrew Bain, thank you very much. My pleasure. Ghost Diver. Yeah.